okay so let's start with joints okay so why do we need joints what is the basic requirement for a joint so joints just think of it like if you have to merge few of the tables if you have to get the unique entry from the tables or you want a combined data like consider table 1 is having uh, 1 2 3 as a serial number and then my name bhupati's name and madhu's name and table 2 is having addresses with that unique id only 1 2 3 addresses uh, delhi chennai hyderabad okay so i now i want these two table to give me results together because data are sitting in two different table but i want the unified result in these cases uh, the joins will help you okay so joins are extremely important these three are the crux of the joins like inner right outer and left outer okay so i have i will teach you like how to decide what join to go for and uh, how to like uh, uh, create a join like what is the syntax what is the parameters that you have to go through so let us create the table first okay so for working on join so we need two tables okay so let me create this we'll be using our uh, cli only for this okay see so this is the terminal uh, this is cloudera terminal and uh, it has an inbuilt uh, mysql server okay so let me just clear this okay and let us paste so copy this or else we'll create sometime this gives an issue yeah it's giving an issue today okay see entering this no okay let us uh, first see what how many databases do we have so show data bases so these many databases are already present so let me take tt okay okay so t1 and something are there so let let us create a table inside of it so this will be our table so i am creating so t1 is already there so let me create mm, t5 okay i have created the table let us insert few of the values so okay i have to change the names no yeah see so i have created few of the like uh, in t5 table i have created few of the rows and everything so let us see what all there select start from t5 okay this is our table so id is 1 2 3 4 name is abcd and order id is 10 11 12 13 13 okay and uh, let me create another table make it t6 here also let's make it t6 okay so let me take up this now you guys are comfortable with creating tables and everything right see so i have created tables now let's see with t6 what is there select star from t6 this is our table okay this is table 5 and this is table 6 table 5 has id 1 2 3 4 name is abcd and order id is associated here now table 6 has id 1 2 3 5 5 okay name is abcd and some order details are there mobile mobile laptop and tv now what what is the requirement so my requirement is i want the details of order okay order details associated with order ids and ids you got my point this is the id 1 2 3 4 here also some ids are there 1 2 3 5 i want name order id and order details together now is as you can see or name i can find from table 1 or table 2 it's it's fine uh, ids also i can check up from 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 5 wherever i want i can Uh, pick it up but order id is in table 5 only 
and order details are in order uh, table six only. How we can merge this column with this table? Yeah, that is our requirement. I need this order details with the order IDs adjacent for whosoever who have ordered ID one, two, three, four, five. I need the details. So for in these scenarios, joins will help you. So what are the types of join? One is inner join. Okay. One is left outer join. One is right outer join. Okay. So let me show you one thing. It will be beneficial for you guys. Okay. So let me open paint. Let me show some paint skills and everything so that you will feel like I know something. Okay. So see, consider this one and this one. Okay. Now let us give the names that we have. Okay. So this is T5 and this is T6. These are our table. Okay. Some schema is there and everything. It's fine. And uh, for that schema, you have to like always consider what is happening and what is not happening. So whenever there is a requirement, okay, you have to always think of what the question has been raised to you. What is the requirement and why and what is exactly that the requirement is. Okay. So over here, what, what actually we want. Just try and figure th this out. Like, what is the exact requirement? Are you guys able to figure it out? Yes, we need the two different columns, like uh, columns from the two different tables on the basis of uh, some unique edit, unique column. Correct. So, what is the thing? We need order IDs, name, and ID. And we need order details corresponding here. Okay. These are in different tables. So if we take up this, let me show you. So if we, we have ID name and order underscore details. Okay. So let me put this. Okay. These are associated with what these are associated with table five. Okay. Order ID, I believe is associated with this or whatsoever. Okay. And here, if we keep here, we have ID name and order details. Okay. So how we can like basically have this order details. Okay. This order details here. This is the basic requirement, right? You are able to understand this. This is what we need. So if I copy this, this is what you need. Correct. For doing this part, only one thing can help you that is join. So how this can happen? Either you can bring this table here or you can bring this table here. Anyone will suffice. Okay. So let me show you how joins behave. Okay. So this table is here. Either you bring this table here. Okay. This is our first join. In this join, what happens? We call it as inner join. Okay. I'm telling you inner join. In inner join, always consider this diagram and uh, practice by seeing this. Okay. So what happens is like the tables table five and table six. Okay. Both are separate entities. Let's give some coloring to it so that it will be like good for you guys to understand. Okay. So this is table five. This is table six and the intersection in between. This is the data that you get when you do inner join. Inner join will always bring common data, common data that is uh, there in table one and table two. In our case, table five and table six, the common data will be pulled together. So if consider ID one, two, three, four, and five is here. And in table six, consider this ID one, two, okay, three, four, and five is here. So it will only bring ID one, one okay so let me take some other color okay 
it will bring ID one, okay? Matching, matching details, ID three, ID four and ID five. Otherwise, ID two is not present, okay? So this will be left here itself. No use for this data, okay? So just consider it gone. So matching details will be pulled here. So let us go back to our table and design a query and I'll show you how actually that behaves. Okay, what is the syntax? So we have to give select, okay? You have two different tables, okay? I, ID name, order ID and ID name and order details, okay? So le let me just show you how to design the query. And in that process only, I'll show you a negative scenario also. So select ID name, I need order details. So order underscore DT comma, you need order ID also. Okay, so first take order ID, order details from, from T5. This is the keyword, join T6 on. It's again a keyword where you want to join ids one common table data should be there name can be different okay i have by intention chosen the same name because i need to show you something so id is equal to id okay let us run this see column id in the field list is ambiguous what is the meaning of ambiguous and what how we wrote this schema understand this quite nicely and slowly because if you understand one syntax you will be able to understand the next two syntax also so see what what is happening it's just consider this as a single entry and single table we need id we need name we need order id and order details so we have mentioned that select id name order id order details from where do you want to fetch because there are two tables, okay? So you have to write from, give first table name, join, second table name, and whenever you are performing a join, there should be a common entry on which the join should happen, okay? There must be a common field, either ID or name, whatever you want. You have to supply a common, uh, like a schema column. Here, ID is our schema column. Considering ID is a schema column. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, five. I am telling you that I want the join to happen on ID. Okay, so I gave ID is equal to ID. But consider this, ID is in two tables. Name is in two tables. How the system will understand from which table are you asking? What is the requirement? Which name or which ID do you want? Okay, so, Whenever you have scenarios like this, when you are doing joins, try, always try to specify the name of the table with the column that you want. Okay, so I am giving t5.id. This is the way you have to write table name dot column name. Now giving t5 dot name. From where I am getting order id? t5 dot order id. From where I'm getting order details. So it's in T6, T6 dot order details. From first table name, join, second table name, on what basis you want to join. So on uh, whatever schema column is matching. So again, give the name of the tables, okay? T5 dot ID is equal to T6 dot ID. I'm joining on the basis of name. Ambiguity will always arise whenever you are trying to give same schema column name, which are already present in both the tables. System will not understand from which table you want. What is the requirement? Where, are, where should I fetch the data for you? So this kind of scenario we call as ambiguity. The columns we call as ambiguous columns. This is a very important concept. This is a very, very widely or important question that to be asked in interviews, okay? This question I have faced multiple, multiple times. What is ambiguity? How it arises? How you can solve this? Okay, this is a very common scenario. Be prepared for this. So what is ambiguity? Ambiguity is when two tables are having same schema names and we are trying to join it, system is not able to understand from where do I need to fetch the data? How to solve this? 
whenever you are doing a join, either the column are ambiguous or not. Don't bother about that. It's a good practice that you should always mention table name dot column name. Always associate like that. A system will be more faster, more efficient to fit you the data. Okay, now let us run this. See, now let me show this to you. So our table is ID, name, order ID, ID, name, order details. What we did, we joined both the table on the basis of ID. And what are we trying to fetch? We are trying to fetch ID from table five. So table five ID, one, two, three is coming. What I told you, join will only bring the details that are present in both the tables. So one is present in both the tables. Two is present in both the tables. Three is present in both the tables. Four is only present in table five and five is only present in table six. So these two are skipped. It will not be pulled because both the table are not having these entries. So the output will be ID name, order ID and order details. Only the matching columns will come. Is it fine? Guys? Yes, sir. Now, yeah, now let's see. Uh, first, because we, I told you that ID and name are common in both the tables. So will it impact if I take T6 dot ID? T6 dot name? Because T5 only has order ID, so give it as T5. T6 has order details. If you want, you can skip this also. But I will always advise to give a uh, table name with the column ID whenever you are doing joins to get avoiding any situation in which ambiguity can arise. So let's enter this. Still, you can see same result coming. Isn't it the same result? 1, 2, 3, mm -hmm. A, B, C, 10, 11, 12, mobile, mobile, laptop. Why this time even we have left the table name with two of the schema columns, still no ambiguity. Why? Because order detail is only a part of table six and order ID is only part of table five. So no ambiguity. But if you skip any of this, because ID is associated with both the tables, if you skip even this, it will say the fields are ambiguous. Always, it's a good practice. It doesn't take much time. Always try and give table name dot schema column, table name dot column. Always try to practice in this scenario. And one thing that you always should know, ambiguity will arise when both the tables that you are trying to join is having same schema name, okay? And if you are trying to join them, ambiguity will arise. To avoid that only, we give table name dot schema name. Then the system is able to understand, okay, this time the requirement is from this ID. I need table five's ID, not the table six ID. So no ambiguity. And how to write a join? It's very easy. Select whatever details you want from both the tables, associate it with their table names from table name one, join table name two on what parameter you want to join. So give a join key. Either I will be telling you join on ID or name or order details. If both have order details, if nobody, only one table has order details, no join will happen because no common data is there. And now what we are trying to learn, we are trying to learn inner join. So inner join will only bring the data which are common in both the tables. Okay. That we saw in the diagram also. Table one has one, two, three, four, five. Table two has one, three, four, five. So if you try to join this one, to one mapping will happen. Okay, one is there, so bring one. Two is not there, so drop two. Okay, three is there. Okay, so bring three. Four is there, so bring four. Five is there, so bring five. Only matching details will be there. Are you guys able to understand? Yes. Can we compare the two columns on the basis of join? You can. You can do uh, like joins on two columns. You can do filtration on the basis of join also. It's totally possible, but for doing two column joins, yeah, if you want to like join two columns, I what I try to do is like, I always try to make a nested query out of it. That's a higher order concept. Like uh, you have to perform a join on top of a join. Okay, so okay. I'll teach you that also. We'll okay. first, you try and practice uh, uh, joins on the basis of two tables. Try joining on a single key. 
take the output and decide like what join like because nobody is going to ask you okay do a inner join for me they will ask you in interviews okay i have table 1 i have table 2 i need the data from both the tables okay all the columns i need the data but the data should be like that whosoever has entry in table 1 and have associated entry with in table 2 their detail should come otherwise detail should not come then you have to decide okay they want the common entries so common entries i can only get from inner join and inner join is a default join you have just to write join join is a keyword if you just write join system will take it as inner join you don't have to mention inner got my point guys yes kishan okay so keep this in mind okay so just give me one minute and i'll uh, restart it it's 929 i believe let's let's go ahead with the next one okay so next one we call as outer joins okay so for outer joins let me remove all this what is a outer join so like inner joins you can have outer joins as well okay so let me create with a different color okay like this consider these two are your tables okay same tables t5 and t6 this is t5 and this is t6 now what used to happen when you have to do the inner joins this table goes like this okay and okay let me create a new one for this just consider this that uh, this table will be moving okay and it will sit like this right because join is happening something some some details would be intersecting so your table 5 and table 6 okay so this this goes like uh, joining from left to right or right to left where however you want to understand so they just overlap what happens in left outer okay we will understand left outer and right outer together sorry left uh, yeah left outer and right, right outer it's quite similar behavior is same just the name flips and the data also flips so when you were doing inner join what used to happen data that is matching that only you can see right yes right, guys yes, yes okay yes. what happens in left outer all the data from left side plus matching data from right side comes up okay the data that all the data that is available in your left table will anyhow be present with matching data from your right side table if some data is available in left table which doesn't have a entry in right table you will see null values over there let me show you with an example consider you have 1 2 3 and 4 and in the table you have 1 2 4 4 and 5 now tell me because what did i tell you in left all the data from left will come anyhow no other way to have this so here you will have 1 2 3 and 4 so you can see one is there in both the tables so all the data corresponding to both the tables will come two is there in both the tables so all the data corresponding to two will come but three is only present in your left side table but it's not there in your right side table but still three will come because it's a left outer outer left outer means whatever is there in your left side table will be available okay so because no entry is there in the right side then what you can have you can only have nulls so when three will come you will you will get data like you will get null n u double l corresponding values for three will be null and 4 because 4 is present in both the tables so 4 will have corresponding data now on the flip side let me remove this 
if you go for right outer joint so this table is your right table right this one is your right table correct so all the data from your right side with matching data from your left side okay same thing on the left side if you do left outer all the data from left side with matching data from right side if the data is not matching on the right side add it with null give me null values for that but the value from left side will be there if you go for right outer then all the data from the right side table with matching data from your left side table if the data is not matching for the values that are there in right side give me nulls but i want all the data from the right side take an example if i tell you one table name is table 1 and one table name is table 2 table 1 has 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, like customer name and table 2 has 1 2 3 and and some uh, like a discount code so whosoever is there in table 2 will get discount so if you merge both of them only matching values if you want to give discount so you will do a inner join okay if the data is in both the tables i'll give you discount if you want okay if the data is there in the left side table like all that person who whose name are written in left side table table 1 i want to give them discount in any how so do a left join because all the names you want from the left table okay i want to give discount to all the people who are there in right side okay then do a right outer because any how you want all the people that are there in your right side table so this is the way you have to design your queries are you able to understand the difference between left outer and right outer yes. okay so let us design a query and let's see so let me clear the screen let me bring out all the details select star from t5 this is our one table and let's do t6 also so this is your t5 and t6 now we will do a left outer you will have to tell me what all details will come before i make a like a submit of the query so let me do this select i want t5 dot id okay t5 dot name i want uh, order id order id and i want order details also so order okay okay dt okay from now tell me how to write the join so first we have to give the table name one so let me give t5 join t6 on t5 dot id is equal to t6 dot id now this will give you a inner join because default join is inner you don't have to specify anything but when you have to do a left outer just write left in front of join now tell me what are the details entries in uh, your left whatever table comes on the top like first table is always the left table and the second table will be a right table you can like correlate it if you want to flip them you want table 2 to become your left table then give uh, table 6 here the join it's written no so the word keyword keep the keyword join whosoever table comes before uh, like the join keyword will be your left table and whatsoever table comes after the join keyword it will be your right table consider in that way it is similar to your hand if you see if you center it on join keyword left side will be your left table and right side of the join will be your right side table now tell me before i am going to enter for this query tell me what will be the result what do you expect to bring out of this i am going to do a left join on top of this so what are the details you want what all the details will surely come all the data from t5 and the matching data from t6 correct so let us see what happens because and one is present in both the tables okay two is present in both the tables three is present in both the tables but four is not present in this table because our main consideration is left table right now this is left outer so this is the most important table because t5 is coming before join it is on the left side of join so it's the left table so i will be getting all the data from here but see four is not available in this table 
So what will happen with four? I want four, but no data is there. Okay, give me null for it. Enter it. Oh, I have made made a mistake in spelling. All right. Be All right. Yeah. Be careful with spelling, guys. So this always creates an issue. Okay. See, all the details from your left table has come with matching details from your right side. Now, let us see if it's correct or not. One is available in both the tables. Correct. Name will be there. Okay. Order ID is 10. What is the matching entry from left table to right table? Mobile, right? So mobile is here. For two, mobile is here. For three, laptop is here. But for four, no entry is there. So I want what we have given t5.id. So t5.id came, t5.name came. So four and D. But order details are not available. Order detail became null. When matching entry is not available in your corresponding other side of the table, it will give you null. Are you guys able to understand? Yes. Same thing like here itself. See all the data from your left side with matching data from your right side. If the data is not matching, give me what? Give me null. It's as simple as this. Now let us go now. Let me write it again. So you guys will be able to understand. Let us take the T5 dot so comma. It's good to always give the table name. So T5 dot order ID. Okay, and I want order details also. So order detail is part of T6. So give T6 dot order D. It's T5 for us. Join T6 on what keyword? T5 dot ID is equal to T6 dot ID. What kind of join you are trying to do? You are trying to do, sorry. You are trying to do, do a right join, right outer. Just give the keyword. Like you did left join for left outer, give right join for right outer. If you do this, now tell me what do you expect? What are the details? Any what are the details like what are the order ids that you think will always be there because it is a right join one so two, tell me first what is the right table t6 t6 is the right table so what details what ids will always be there one two, one, two three five correct and yeah. because i can see t1 t5 oh, sorry t6 is also having one t5 is also having one cool the data will be matched and i will get both the data Two is also there. Okay, I'll get the data. Three is also there. I'll get the data. But five is not there, right? I don't so bother we'll about four. I yeah. don't bother about four. Why? Because I'm doing a right outer. I don't care what is there in this table. My main motive is getting all the details, matching details for my right table. Correct? So if five is here, no data is here, then I will get five. I will get the name also. But but here we have to understand we are getting t5 dot name okay so let us enter and see what happens are you able to understand what what just basically happened so it tried to map five sorry it tried to map four and went over here so four was not available okay it gave a null entry for it no name was there nothing was there now if i give it Let's convert it to T5. Let us make it T6 dot name. See, now it's making sense, right?
guy is able to see now right yes sir now we can see okay see so now you are able to understand basically focus on the name like left outer right outer left outer means your main core focus will be your left table all the data that is matching for that left table with right table will be fetched if you are going for non matching data because consider one entry is there in my left table but no entry is present in for that particular entry in right table just give me null with, with that i want the data from left full data should come from left if you are on the right side of no data is there give me null fine if you are going for right outer same thing applies it just flips all the data from your right side with matching data from your left side if right side have some entry that has no matching data on the left side just give me null in case of that fine so it's yeah. as simple as this you guys able to i'll give you this document give ambiguity try and uh, like raise ambiguity don't give the name okay don't pro provide names and then see how how you can resolve this try on ambiguity goes or not try in that scenario you will be able to understand how ambiguity arises and in interview they will ask you create the ambiguity and then remove that ambiguity also so you know both the scenarios positive scenarios and negative scenarios you should be aware about that okay so this is it for like uh, today's class okay so let's